that's a, a big wide open question. I mean, there's been a lot of things over the years that RC four wheel drive has, has put out in the marketplace. And I can remember some really early stuff, um, obviously beadlock wheels. Um, but one of the biggest things that I remember is our bulldog winch, which evolved into the worn winch. Uh, originally, whenever that was released, it was a brushless winch. Uh, with a wireless controller and uh, the wireless controller was a <clears throat> like a little car key fob and you had the lock and unlock and uh, that was letting your winch in and your winch out and uh, that was one of the first innovative things that I remember that we um, that RC4 drive brought out at that time and uh, it was one of the first widely available winches um, that, that anybody had available as a company to be able to produce and uh, put out to everybody, so um, that was that was a very cool experience, and and to see the evolution of that, it went from uh, being a brushless uh, system to being a brushed system, and then evolving into the worn uh, licensed products that we have today as well. Uh, the biggest one for me was the V8 engine and the scale transmission. Uh, no one else had come close to trying that or doing it before, uh, and. To this day, it's still one of our best-selling products for guys building scale trucks. Uh, it's it's just got so much detail, uh, and it's a great product to put in anything from a Toyota if you want it to look like it's got a V8. To uh, it comes in our special edition Blazer, which is really cool. Uh, the other part I've always liked is uh, the way the chassis are set up. Obviously, leaf spring is extremely realistic, and I don't think any other company has been able to do it anywhere close to how realistic that we can do it. But I also like that we've also had like that forward mounted transmission and forward mounted motor. It's always been a really good setup for driving, um, for builders and for anything, just kind of keep everything uh, as scale as you want to get it. Another thing with those, like the really cool products has always been the hard bodies for me. No one else does it. They're a great builders thing. They're also like, oh, our hobby is very much like model builders plus RC truck guys, and I get as much enjoyment building these things as I do driving them. So you can buy these bodies, build them like you're building a little plastic kit you did when you were a kid, but then you can actually put it together and drive it. Uh, you can do any paint work and customization that you can think of. So the sky's the limit with that stuff. And it seems like every year we're coming out with like the next awesome body, and there's always something in the pipeline. Uh, so it's it's just been great. I, I think we knock it out of the park when it comes to the scale bodies. I'm not sure it counts as uh, strictly innovative, but the whole idea that RC four wheel drive started to offer more hard bodies, and in fact, more styrene hard bodies than anybody else on the market, I think really solidified them as the scale experts. It's really cool to see so many things coming out of RC four wheel drive that really push the limits of what is capable of our hobby. It's really great to see that. I think my favorite thing with RC four wheel drive products is how it all works together, how the fit and finish is, and it's allowed me to build all of these custom rat rods and hot rods and you can really think outside the kit. You can just get all their components piece by piece and the links, the rod ends, and that's really opened up this whole world of RC rat rods. And then the, with the scale V8, and all the accessories for that. that they, they support their products very well. Brand name stuff, it's really cool. Innovation, that's what we've known, been known for. Um, if you think back on um, what RC4 four wheel drive has brought to um, the segment in the industry, um, it's always been innovation from, you know, performance tires to uh, scale unmatched to you know the the details that that no other company could um, attempt and at this point is pretty much just following us and the example that I remember and has been a passion of mine and I've always wanted to get one of these and have never found one and then um, by a couple of years ago I, I fell onto one and grabbed it right away was the fracture uh, the fracture kit um, that was um, innovation that was beyond anything that we ever imagined. Um, for those that don't know, um, you know, it was the um, tapered chassis, it was the, um, the scale motor, 
that had the, um, the motor inside it. And it was just something that was way beyond what, um, what we could imagine at that point. Um, and it was something that was a premium. And, um, like I said, back, back when it came out, I would have loved to have been able to get one, but I couldn't afford it at the time and, uh, happened to fall on one and, and, and got one. And it stays in my case now as a display piece, uh, because it, it is definitely the, um, it was the vision of the future that, um, just none of us had any idea where we were going with it. And to, be, to show you, um, I don't know anybody that's not seen it. This is the fracture chassis. And I mean, you look at this detail. That's when I knew scale was going to, uh, was not going to stop and it was just going to keep going because it all it does is keep testing the limits and RC four wheel drive is always the one ahead of the curve and everybody else is following. So, um, Kudos to uh, RC4 Wheel Drive for 20 years. Look forward to, uh, you know, seeing this go for a lot, lot longer and seeing some of the really cool things that we're coming out with.